We are following breaking news at five, a chase in the middle of the day on I-75 South. Our John Matarese was driving in the area when police sped past him. The driver, according to police, turns out to be a suspect wanted for a shooting at a police officer at the Hartwell Kroger parking lot on Sunday. The suspect shot and killed himself during this chase. This is clearly a huge development in the investigation. I-75 South near Lynn Street remains closed at this hour. We do have team coverage following the case. Let's start with Dan Carroll, who is in Chopper 9 with the traffic situation. Dan. Well, we are looking at I-75 where this uh, chase came to an end. And for our viewers who are wondering exactly what we're looking at, that is 8th Street where it crosses over the top of I-75. And this is just past the 7th Street exit. And you can still see the, the rather large police presence on the scene as they continue their investigative work. So I-75 remains shut down here in the uh, near Lynn Street and in the Queensgate area. There is all the traffic that is exiting onto Freeman Avenue and a major, major backup for you southbound on 75. It's been like this all afternoon and here into the early evening hours, and this is going to continue for some time, even after they get it open, just because there's so many cars stacked up going southbound on 75. You are literally on the brakes all the way back uh, just a little bit north of Mitchell. We took a look at that back up just a little while ago. So southbound 75, if you can avoid it, and I've said this before, if you can avoid it, stay off of 75 for this evening's rush hour, or you know someone who uh, goes this way to get through downtown and onto the Brent Spence Bridge, uh, give them a call, tell them to stay off of 75 because it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. I'm Dan Carroll in Chopper 9. What a headache for those folks out there, Dan. Thank you. And 9 on your side, Jake Weil has brand new information from the coroner who responded to the scene. Jake, what do you know? Well, we actually just spoke with the Hamilton County coroner, and we do know that only one shot was fired. I want to give you a look at the scene as you're able to see crash reconstruction teams out and about right now. They still have not yet moved that van, so it's still going to be quite some time before they reopen I-75 southbound here near downtown. But as you're able to see below, uh, there's still quite a few police cars on the scene. Now, I'm going to give you a look at this view from an overpass showing how wide the scene was here on, a, on the highway really stretched from all of the lanes on I-75. This was the end of a police pursuit. Dr. Lakshmi Samarco, Hamilton County Coroner, telling us one person was inside of the van. We know Ronald Foster, a man suspected of shooting at a police officer Sunday outside of the Hartwell Kroger, shot and killed himself during this police pursuit. Now that chase started on Spring Grove and ended here near the 9th Street overpass on I-75 southbound. The coroner not able to say much right now, but more answers could be coming soon with an autopsy. We'll have to take a look at him in the autopsy and see what other injuries there are. Um, but for now, anyway, it looks like uh, the single gunshot wound is the only injury that we can see from the surface. All right, when it comes to a timeline, it's going to be kind of difficult, but we do know the autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow. As for a timeline here on I-75, they hope to have this highway open at around 5 o'clock. Obviously, with re crash reconstruction teams, it's going to be quite some time. And then they've got to get the tow truck in, remove all of the evidence from the scene, and then they'll be able to reopen I-75. We'll stay on top of it for you on WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in downtown, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.